Greetings everyone, in this video we will be looking at NCA level 3 uh, probability distributions achievement standard and in this video I will be focusing on uh, using graphics calculator to work out the uh, uh, probability for a binomial distribution. So we will uh, quickly have a look at that. So in this question it says uh, if the probability of uh, passing a practical driving test in Auckland is uh, 80%, uh, what is the probability that um, five of the next uh, eight liner drivers uh, will pass their driving test. So what you will need to do first is uh, see if this is a binomial distribution. So we know that we are looking at uh, learner drivers. So these are people and we can count them. So it's a discrete data. And uh, what we'll uh, quickly check is uh, see if uh, it meets the four conditions for binomial distribution. We're given a fixed number of trials because it says uh, next uh, eight learner drivers. So the uh, fixed number of trials is eight. Uh, drivers in this case uh, each trial is independent and we already know that uh, the instructor will um, not care if uh, the previous person has passed or failed the uh, driving test so each trial is independent and uh, there are two possible outcomes the uh, learner driver will either pass the practical driving test or will uh, fail the test and uh, the probability of success is uh, consistent so in this case we're given uh, probability is 0.8 uh, which is uh, 80%. So I'll quickly show you how we can uh, use the graphics calculator to get the answer. So what you will need to do is uh, click menu and then uh, go to uh, stats uh, menu. And uh, once I'm there, then I will click F5, which will give me uh, the options for all the distributions that we are after. And in this case, I'll go binomial. So I need binomial distribution. So I will click F5 and I'm given two options, B. PD and BCD. BPD is for the point distribution, which means uh, for exact uh, value. So this will work out for each individual X value exactly. And uh, C is for cumulative uh, distribution, where you want to get the total for more than one X value. So it's easier to use this one. So in this case, the question said five of the next uh, eight um, learner drivers will pass the test. So five means uh, exactly five in this case. So it's a point distribution. So I'll click on that one and then uh, variable. So we want the um, data variable in this case. So we will scroll down and uh, put the X value and we wanted uh, exactly five of the next eight drivers. So num trial, which is number of trials here is eight and probability of success is 0 0.8 and then uh, we just execute and the probability is 0 0.1468 uh, pretty straightforward as you can see and we uh, interpret that in context the probability that uh, five of the next eight linear drivers will pass their practical driving test is 0 0.1468 uh, hope this makes sense thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video